Good morning, everybody. We are sitting actually in the lobby of Wish TV, and I am a very special guest, Lonnie Bidwell. And the interesting thing before I tell everybody who you are, this is the first time you've really done an Indianapolis interview, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's the first time. Okay. Let's get to the really good part first. You are the first blind person, sir, to do what? Kayak the entire length of the Colorado River through the Grand Canyon in my own kayak. How many miles? 226 miles. And obviously there were people in the kayak with you. Not in my, in, in kayak with me. They were in their no. own kayaks, yeah. <laughs> so you were doing that all by yourself? Yes, I was in and kayak was, by myself. who was surrounding you? Other, di other disabled veterans and veterans. Really? Uh, yeah, Isn't they were my guides. Tell us, sir, um, how you became blind. How old were you? I was 31. I lost my eyesight in a hunting accident, uh, uh -huh. accidentally shot by a good friend of mine. And is he still a good friend? Oh, yeah. Is yeah, he really? He's still a good friend. I tell him all the time he's much better looking to me now than he used to be. <laughs> so. so this is an incredible story. Did you ever think, did, had you ever kayaked before? No. You had never kayaked before? No. Okay, so I've interviewed many, many people who are dealing with issues like this, and I always ask, okay, how did you choose the kayaking? Well, the kayaking kind of chose me. Okay. I, uh, yeah, I was introduced to adaptive sports in 2011. Right. And, uh, and then that led me to uh, the Disabled American Veterans Winter Sports Clinic out in Colorado. And it was out there that an organization called Team River Runner uh, had kayaks in a swimming pool. And me and a friend just went to check is it out. Right. Yeah, and the rest is history. Everybody I talk to tells me to some, at, at, at some point, when, when the accident first happened, did you go through a period of depression? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And, and then what snapped you out of it? Uh, a little incident with my youngest daughter. I was outside uh, walking around the yard, just totally lost, and couldn't get into my little barn and uh, because weeds were so high and up to my chest, and, and she helped me go figure out how to go and mow those weeds. And it was after I finished mowing around that, that barn, you know, that. Uh, I realized right then and there that I was still daddy to those girls and I c could still do stuff. We are going to talk more in, in the next couple of segments about you, the fact that you've done some other things nobody has ever done when, 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 when you were blind. And did, did, you, did your family say, don't do this? It's funny, the adults were saying, don't do this. I, I was, yes. Right. Yeah, the adults were saying kind of no, no, no to begin with. And my daughters were saying, go, go, go. And then, uh, then everyone kind of thought, okay, uh, they're going to try it, so we better I, get in the game here. <laughs> I want to mention this is Lonnie's book, um, Blind Adventure, and what we're going to talk about later is that you're the subject of a short for the Heartland Film Festival, which has already given its awards, and we'll find out whether you want it or not. Not that it matters, but we'll be back with Lonnie Bidwell to talk about some incredible stories in this book. Stay with us.